In this episode of my Gato FPS tutorial series, we're making a pickup component script that will let the player physically pick up objects. These tutorials are part of a long series of FPS tutorials for the Gato engine. And as always, you can grab the source files for this and all of my Gato engine tutorials on my Patreon. Our goal for this episode is to create a new pickup component that when added as a child to our interaction component, will allow the player to pick up the parent object. In this case, any rigid body 3D object. To do that, we're going to check when the player interacts with the object, emit a signal from our interaction component that will be read by the pickup component, which will adjust the transform of our object so the player carries it around. When the player presses the interact button while looking at an interactable object, the interaction raycast script fires a signal which is read by the interaction component. In our interaction component script, we're going to add a new signal that will fire in the on interact function and pass along the parent rigid body 3D node. We then need a new node called pickup component added as a child of our interaction component along with a new script. Being a child here is important in how we'll structure our code. So wouldn't it be cool if we could check if that's true and send a warning if it isn't? Well, we can by overriding the built-in get configuration warnings function. This is basically what creates that little warning logo when you don't have a collision node sometimes in the scene tree. We add the function which will return a packed string array. At the top of our script, I've added my class name and variables to hold the parent node and object we are a child of. Remember, the parent is the interaction component, but the object is the rigid body 3D node. In our ready script, we set parent to get parent, which should be the interaction component class node. If it is, we connect the parent interacted signal we just created to a function we'll make in a minute called update state. In the get configuration warnings function, we check if the parent is not an interaction component class. If it's not, then we return our warning string array. And if it is, then we return nothing. The configuration warning needs to be manually updated and we can do that by using another built-in function notification. This function captures a bunch of different notification events that occur in the editor. In it, we check if our what equals notification enter tree or whenever we add or move our pickup component. When this happens, we reset our parent to the new parent and update our warning with the update configuration warnings function. Now, whenever we add or move our node, the parent will get checked and a warning placed if needed. We also need to add the tool keyword at the top of the script so that this runs while we are in the editor. Now that we have a check for our node placement, let's start picking up our object. We create a new export variable pickup distance to adjust how far we want the object to be in front of us when we pick it up a picked up Boolean variable and a constant pickup lerp for lerping the object's location. I've set mine to 0.3. Then we create our update state function with a parameter for our interactable object. Remember, we are passing that value in our player interacted signal. Within that function, we set our object to interactable, set the rigid body 3D node to freeze mode so that gravity is not applied while holding it and turn pickup to true. Then we have to make a decision about how to handle our collision. You can turn collision off completely or for specific collision channels. Basically, you don't want to collide with yourself or you're going to have some really weird effects, but you may want to collide with other objects and you'll need to collide with your raycast. Keep that in mind when setting your collision layers. We place that in an else statement and add an if statement for when we are already holding the object. Then we set picked up to false object to null and reset our collision masks and freeze setting. Finally, in our physics process function, we need to update the object's global transform when we have picked it up. We check if picked up, then I'm getting the global transform of my player camera and setting the global transform of the picked up object to an interpolate with value, going from A, my object global transform, to B, my camera transform with a translated local distance. Now, when you add the pickup component as a child of the interaction component, you should be able to pick up that object when you interact with it. There is definitely more polish needed here, but this should give you an idea for one way to achieve the effect. You could also place the object as a child of the camera itself and remove it when you drop it, but I wanted to keep the object in its scene tree location. As always, you can get the source files for everything that you saw in this video on my Patreon. I'll catch you in the next one, and as always, keep creating.